Thank you for staying with TVC News. Away from the rerun elections, former Minister of State Petroleum Resources Tibipuri Silva has been declared the flag bearer for the All Progressives Congress in the Bayelsa State Governorship election, which is slated for November the 11th this year. Tibipuri Silva pulled a total of 2,061 votes to defeat five other aspirants, including the flag bearer of the 2019 governorship election, David Leon, Elera Heavy downpour made the announcement of the result for the governorship candidate of the APC to be done indoors. The exercise had gone into a recess before the final announcement was made by the chairman of the primary election committee, retired Major General Ahmed Jibreen. Let's join a right away TVC correspondent in Bielsa State, Joseph Kunde. It's good to see you, Joseph. What's been the highlight of today's primary uh, election in Bielsa State? Thank you so much. It has been relatively peaceful compared to what happened yesterday. We had, we had a handful of issues yesterday, and even today, a number of words, three of them, there wasn't any election that was done. One of them, the materials couldn't get there on time, but the other ones, it was due to uh, one technical reason or the other. But be it as it may, everybody came around it, and of course, they really exercise their franchise as members. Remember that um, they went about it during the direct primary. So that means it happened to be for every member of the party in each of the boards of the local government areas. That's exactly what happened there yesterday. Right, and of course, uh, with the uh, conduct of today's exercise, Timmy Pre Silva emerged uh, the winner of the exercise. Tell us more about how he emerged winner. Of course, you also said that the election was uh, direct mode. But tell us more about uh, the happenings that saw his emergence as the winner. So initially, about 24 hours ago, the, the person that was, that was in charge of the primaries, and that's talking about the retired the Major General Jibril, he called all the six uh, aspirants and he told them that, look, let's have one person. And then all of them said, no, nobody's going to step down. All of them said, let us go and try our popularity at the polls. So he said, okay, fine, go ahead and do it. Well, the thing about the former governor of Bielsa State that happens to be the immediate past uh, Minister of State of Petroleum Resources, Timmy Presilva, is it was a massive swoop. He went about it in a different way. He has been a governor of Bielsa State for about five years. And then uh, before we had them, um, Sarah K. Dixon and now currently Doye Diri. But he says that he's got something else he's coming forward to doing in Bielsa. That was the reason why he did that. Now, um, aside him, we also have um, one man that is really around it all, all along. Remember the way he was uh, giving the upper court, literally, that is, in terms of um, from uh, the Supreme Court at the last minute of 2019. He's also very much there. But unfortunately for him, talking about David Lyon, he couldn't come through with the votes as much as he could have gotten. And of course, um, although Silver Wiley was talking today, he said that um, he's, he's going to be having an inclusive um, uh, party in the sense that all of them that you know failed or fell through in terms of being an aspirant they are all welcome and let them put hands together and see how they can move the state forward because of the primaries that's going to be happening on the 11th of november and for a former governor who is uh, now running against uh, the pdp's uh, candidate what are mr silver's chances how bright are they well, at the moment, everybody would tell you that um, the state is PDP, but just because they've been winning since 1999, the late uh, Lame and then of course, um, to me, pretty silver, like I said, uh, Jonathan first. Uh, good luck, Jonathan. He was a governor for a short spell before we had to me, pretty silver. And then we had um, uh, Sarah Kiddickson for eight years, and then coming back to Doye Diri for four years. Now, to me, pretty silver, like I said earlier, and he says that he's got an unfinished business in the trick heaven in, in Bielsa. So he is saying that, look, it is my time. Like, he wants to coil it from um, uh, the, the, the president elect that says it in Miloko. He believes that it is his time, and he said he's gotten more wiser, and of course, he's known a whole lot of things, and he's, he has now become a better leader. So, yes, it has been relatively peaceful, as I tell you. There have been no issue of um, any fracas from any sorts today. All right, Joseph Kunde, we'll see how it all pans out. Many thanks for the updates uh, from your end. Thank you very much.